Hey, what is up, heroes, and welcome back to another Pokemon ROM Hack Showcase. Today, we are looking at Pokemon Aqua Blue, which looks really awesome, and we're going to jump right into it. All right, Professor Oak, hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. That's good. First, tell me a little bit about yourself. So let's give us custom sprites, and it does, eh? Hey? Nice. Alrighty, let's put our name in. If you guys want to play along, uh, link in the description down below. Go check it out, download it, play it, tell me what you think. Because when the screenshots game look kind of cool. This is strange fellow is the son of the head director at Silphco. Oh, okay. And what's his name now? Let's go to Gary. That's right, remember now his name is Gary. Faultsy, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. What the dreams and adventures of Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Alrighty then. Oh, there's a nice joy in our, uh, our bedroom. Okay. The sprite actually looks pretty cool. I like that. I like the guy's hair. And what's this? It's last year's official Pokemon League poster. Sure, I can be in this year's. Hey. This is for demo testing purposes only. Are you interested in testing out the custom items? These items will contain spoiler alerts. Yeah, sure. Okay, got the demo care package. So what's this? Whoa, okay. So we got six shiny stones. Item gleams with all the colours of the rainbow Pokemon change colour when cl close to it. Ooh. Got double X attack. Okay. Triple X. Galaxy stone. Unlocks the hidden potential of Pokemon. This item is very rare. It's only known for one of its kind. Ooh. Name changer. Oh, nice. Party restore, six pack of potions that fully revive and restore all Pokemon. Now that's pretty cool. Common core. This item is used to create various items. It can be sold for a decent price. Rare core and epic core. Okay. Anything else? Oh, order ticket. Redeemable ticket used to acquire a laptop in Celadon City. Got warp drive. Sweet. Cardboard box. Snake would be proud. <laughs> and black uniform official Team Rocket clothing. Can we put that on? Yeah, could be a Team Rocket, okay. That's pretty sweet, let's put our clothes back though. That's awesome. I should go register on the global link. So is that going to be our PC? You find out the PC, connect to the Pokemon global link, okay. Success. Would you like to register for your new starter? Yes, please. Which starter type would you like? Because uh, this is Aqua Blue, we'll go for Water type. Select your Pokemon, Squirtle, Turtle, or Mudkip. Let's go for Squirtle, why not? May only receive one free starter Pokemon. Are you sure that's the one you want? Yes, it is. Great choice. Please enter your name, verifying credentials, success. Greetings, Volta. Your journey, or well, Pokemon journey, is about to uh, begin. Please allow up to one full day for delivery. Thank you, and please enjoy your new Pokemon. Hey. Okay, now I should probably get ready for bed. I'm so excited about my new Pokemon. Hey, so I guess we'll just sleep for the night? Yeah. Voltsy! Voltsy! Wake up and come downstairs, oh. You're gonna be late, or I'm in trouble. Yo, Voltsy, there you are. The professor just called. He's here at the Saffron City Pokemon Center. He says uh, he has urgent news about the Pokemon you ordered. Ooh, okay. So I'll start in town Saffron City, that's pretty awesome. So where's the Pokemon Center? I think it's to the left, isn't it? Yeah. What up? Ah, Voltsy, right on schedule. Glad you didn't keep me wet. Oh, brace yourselves. Sound like an explosion. That sounded like it came from the uh, self company. Faulty, better investigate it. What I had to say can wait. Yep, a, a boy with no Pokemon should investigate a massive explosion. Maybe, you know, not go check his mum's okay or whatever, but Faulty, wait. I almost forgot. Take the Pokemon you ordered and take this Pokedex. It's already nationalized, and if you don't know what any of that means, that's fine, I'll explain later. Good luck! Okay, got a squirrel along with a care package. So, uh, I guess the care package would be like what? Yeah, two potions, and that was it. <laughs> and our Pokemon level 6 Squirtle, okay, not level 5. It's a shiny Squirtle! Hey! Nice! Is it supposed to be shiny, or did I just get like, lucky and get shiny? 
Don't know. If you guys are playing this, let me know if you've got a shiny as well, because that's pretty awesome. That was just completely luck. And Silphco has been destroyed. Ooh. There's Team Rocket, Giovanni. They're like an old Amber as well. Finally, our predictions were correct. The Meteor has touched down and snowed all mine. We knew he had it in your boss. Wait, so a Meteor came down and did this? <laughs> Quiet. Let's make our escape before we're noticed. Hold right there, Team Rocket. Number two, dispatch with them. Must be going. Number one, grab the Meteor. No problem, boss. With pleasure. Alrighty. Don't worry, policeman. Me who's just got this Pokemon will sort this out. You picked the wrong group to mess with, kid. <laughs> sure, the policeman were like, yo, kid, stay back. The Team Rocket. But nope. It's like, we're a brand new trainer. Love the yak. It's a custom shiny, isn't it? Because Quetel's shell isn't usually green. Don't think. Anyway. I should try that little uh, colour stone, see if that changes the colour of the Pokemon as well. A level 7 and bubble. Unreal. The boss is going to be furious. So far this game's actually looking pretty good. You haven't seen The Last of Us. I don't feel so... everything. Fading. Oh, back in our room. Let me check these uh, colour stones. Uh... Oh. You are glowing. The stone crumbles in your hand. Did Squirtle change colour? It did not. So... I'm gleams of all the colours of the rainbow Pokemon change colour when close to it. I have no idea. Forty, you're awake. Your father and I were very worried about you. That's our dad, I thought it was our mum. <laughs> Feeling okay now? Wonderful. Want to continue our conversation where we left off? I'm sure by now you have noticed the colour of that Pokemon of yours? Despite different coloured Pokemon being a known fact, this one is unique in the fact that it was once normal. As you know by now, there was a meteor orbiting the planet. Had I known it would be hit soon, I would have uh, notified the Saffron City police earlier. However, I strongly believe it is because of that meteor that your Pokemon is now a different colour. Normally, with something as extraordinary as this, I would ask for the Pokemon back, but I think I have come up with a mutually beneficial solution. Vault it, I want you to track down the meteor that Team Rocket stole, as well as locate the shards that come off come off of it during its uh, descent. This is history in the making. It will not be easy. Oh, you got this cool Pokemon to keep it? Risk your life! You can take the Pokemon back, you know, I think my life is more important than a cool looking Squirtle, but in return you may keep your Pokemon. Will you agree? Eh, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> Excellent. About to name your Pokemon? We're good. But the Pokedex I've uh, given you is going to be your best friend. Oh wow, lonely much. But <laughs> While it only shows data on Pokemon if you capture them, my dream has finally been realised. Thanks to a magnificent Pokemon trainer named Red, Pokedex have been completed. However, if you acquire new data on the existing species, I will still be happy to reward you. So I guess it's like a sequel to uh, Fire Red Leaf Green then. Please return to me as soon as you find out any new information. Sounds pretty good. I'll be in touch. Alrighty, so I really just want to start a new game now and see all the different color Pokemon at the start. So I assume it's not just Squad, like the uh, nine starter Pokemon, it'll be different color. That'd be pretty cool. Hello there, you must be Voltsy and Professor Oak's assistant. Said you might try find him. Why don't you check for him in Cerulean City? Okay. Oh, Cerulean City is pretty easy to get to, isn't it? Just gotta go north. Or not. Okay. Team Rocket still might be hanging around, that's why it's blocked off, so I guess we're gonna have to find uh, Team Rocket wherever they are. Can we go in the gym? I think it's blocked off as well. My ESP tells me you're looking for Sabrina, but unfortunately she's not here right now. We should to Maiden's Peak. No. Maiden's Peak is south of Lavender Town. It might be rough getting there with how tight security is after the meteor incident. The best bet is going east of Cerulean City and going through the rock tunnel. Yeah, but I can't get to Cerulean City without finding Team Rocket first, so um, I guess we're going exploring until we can find Team Rocket. Over there, hiding. I'm guessing it's going to be one of these houses just randomly chilling. So that's our house. That's the Pokemon Center. Oh, we... that way. There you go. Go to Celadon. <laughs> Ain't very good police, are they? Let's run right past them. Celadon City. Uh, so we need to go to Cerulean City, don't we? So if we go this way, underground pathing, it leads towards Cerulean, or at least Lavender. 
can't go this way. Oh, can't pass here unless you pay the toll. We only accept souls. Well, not going that way. Oh, I can actually get through the stairs. So, uh, I guess we're gonna go sell it on the city? Let's go talk to the police officer because he might say, you know, Team Rocket Guy might be around here. Suspicious characters, seen any? Yes. Yes? Where are you, where are you from? Yes. What kind of country is that? Do they speak English and yes? Yes. They speak it and use it. <laughs> right, um, maybe they're little Team Rocket hideouts in. Well, they'll be closed, no one's been in these for years. So I'm not going that way then. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go to the gym. Oh, this town looks. It's different a little bit. The booty. <laughs> oh, the pervy old man outside the gym is now just fainted. But there's no used to be here, so let's go this way. South of here is Gringy City. Wouldn't go there if I were you. Oh, we're going there. Brand new town. Route A. We haven't got a map, have we, so I can see what this looks like? Wait, can I actually use the warp drive? Gym cities. Gym cities 1, 2. I won't use the, the warp drive right now because I feel like I might break the game, but. Check out the sweet rare Pokemon. Oh, what you got? It's a Pidgey. It's not really rare, is it? Unless, you know, normal Pokemon are kind of rare these days. That makes sense, but... Oh my god, so many sound attacks! Land a bubble! Oh my god, we missed so many attacks! Alright, revenge time. Oh, whoa, what the... Our Squirtle's dead. What? What? Our Squirtle's a ghost? It crashed the game, but it turned into a ghost. Okay, is it like a Nuzlocke this game then? Alright, so we are back. Uh, funny thing is, I tried to actually um, use different Pokemon when it crashed, but uh, it kind of glitched out, so I think the only Pokemon in the game right now is Squirtle. And um, it looks like we can't actually have our Pokemon die, and I swear if we keep missing sand attacks with this sand attack. Oh, that was lucky. I'm gonna treat this like a Nuzlocke and I cannot die. So what do these uh, cores do actually? Can I like use an epic core? I shouldn't use this now, okay. Maybe I can just use this to like revive a Pokemon? Can I use this on um Squirtle? Oh. Okay, Squirtle realizes its potential. I don't know what that does, but... Uh, can we use it again? <laughs> sure. I honestly have no idea what this does, but... Uh, Deckle? Oh man, we're gonna lose, aren't we? We're gonna lose! Uh, um... I guess we'll go for a... Uh, triple X... Special? Bubble! Yeah! Okay, well, these triple X stuff will be used in all the time. Because we can't lose. Um... He's back to this. Yeah, let's quickly go heal up because this game don't want people to die. Great. Wait, what are you? What are you doing? Greetings. My job is specifically done to help young and struggling trainers out in today's tough times. Have you ever worked Pokemon to the point of them passing away? We have a service to acquire new starter Pokemon. These Pokemon aren't anything special, mind you, but they help you keep back on your feet in areas where you're having difficulty. Okay, so if a Pokemon dies, come and talk to her and she'll give you a new Pokemon. Okay, so this game's like a Nuzlocke, sort of. That's pretty cool. Just gotta make sure I try and uh, not lose. Well, that starter package, we should be fine. Oh, you have a Pikachu, of course you do. Okay. I have to heal up after every battle, but be worth it. And this is Gringy City. Is there like a Pokemon Center here? I probably doubt it from the look of it, but. The ground up ahead is tainted. I'm not quite sure how the professor stays in this building. Uh, I'll have to go through this way. There's a thick, choking fog here. My pie has been poisoned. Oh, great! I have no antidotes. 
And Skull's gonna die. Ah, uh, no. Please, someone, heal me. Antidote. Found a water stone, okay. Do I survive poison in this game? I doubt it, it's Gen 3, I might just end up dying. Okay. I blacked out. What happened? Oh, okay. Um. Hey, Skull's still alive. And there's the lab, I don't know, it just glitched out, but you poison again? Yeah, okay, it's fine. Oh, greetings, I'm Professor Cypress. I specialize in poison type Pokemon. I also research poison, pollution, and the effects it has on our, on our environment. By the way, what brings you to such a place? Oh my. It doesn't appear that you have a poison Pokemon yet. Do you know uh, what makes them so special here? Yes. Excellent. The way that poison uh, Pokemon react to the toxins in the environment here is unlike any anywhere else in the world. The environment is so polluted that it instantly poisons any Pokemon. Oh, however, poison Pokemon aren't affected. The interesting part is that they seem to have the ability to eat poison directly out of other Pokemon. Currently, it is unknown as to why this happens, but nevertheless, it is a fantastic discovery. I'm sure I've attracted a bit of attention from Celadon City due to my uh, staying out here for so long. However, my entire point is to prove that poison Pokemon aren't the cause of the pollution. They're helping contain it. Faulty, did you say it was? Faulty, I insist that if you are to stay here in Gringy City for an extended period of time, you must hold a poison Pokemon. Without one, you won't last long. What? Something must be wrong with the uh, generators. I was hoping this wouldn't happen. Lost my key several days ago, and I've been able to turn off the generators to let them cool off. Oftentimes, they'll get backed up with sludge and will need to be uh, powered down until they reboot, reboot themselves. Forza, would you help me out? Find the waste key and turn off both generators in South Gringy City. Alright, well, do we need Pokeballs? We don't. Alright, so I need to get out of here. Alright. I think we might. Actually, I've got an idea, got an idea. Let's go for this warp drive. Right. Uh, Gym City is Gym City 1. Celadon City. Heal up. And we're going to go to the Mart and buy some balls. This uh, little demo care package is going to be really helpful. Whoa, we got a Vault Stone. So I guess I changed the name of Thunderstone for whatever reason, but I like it. What do you sell? Pokeballs, there we go. Let's get like nine. That'll do. So warp drive, other cities. Oh wow, look at all the cities in this game. So Gringy City. Okay, we're back here. All right, I need to get a poison Pokemon. Pokeball. Alright, got it. Hey, you get XP for a catching Pokemon. Cool. So am I not poisoned anymore? I'm not. Nice. Okay, so now we need to find the the key. Wherever that's going to be. Should have bought some potions while I was at it, but that could be the key there. This game's actually pretty cool so far. Unfortunately, it's an alpha, so it's probably not a lot of content here, but pretty inter interesting. It's not a key, it's a big mushroom. That could be a key. What's in here? Got pipe, and then you've got a stone. So how do we get behind? I can go all the way around. This place is so confusing. Go all the way around. Oh god, this is like a maze. Alright, so we go this way and then we can finally get through. What's this? This is a. Can you believe there's some guy living in Gringy City? It's impossible. Well, clearly not. An underground path. I need clearance to go any further. Okay, so we can't go that way. And this leads to what? The, uh, the waste key. Got it. So where's the generator room? That is a good question. Wait, are we bringing him the key or do we need to just find the generator room now? I don't know. Either way, let's just keep going through. There's another item there. Big mushroom. Oh, that's gotta be it. Got generator. There you go. Found antidote. 
I don't think it's actually the thing we want to touch. Okay, maybe this is not the generator room. Unless this is what we want to touch. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's done. Can we do a little shortcut now and just do this? And go back in. Aha! Found the generators yet? Oh, there's more than one generator? Oh, okay. Well, I kind of wish I didn't do that now, but... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let's go exploring. Oh, another uh, potion. Right, anything up here? No. Maybe there's one on each side, maybe? Ah, yeah, there's the other one there. Okay, I see it. So we just need to go this way. And then turn the generator off. And now we're done. We'll check this room first, just in case I'm in here. No. Alright, warp drive. I feel like if I use a warp drive to like a place we shouldn't be able to go yet, or break the game, but... Maybe we'll do that after we uh, get to a certain point. Wonderful, everything seems to be in tip-top condition. As I took it on my appreciation, I'll give you full clearance in Gringy City. Okay, this means you have access to the server tunnel, or service tunnel, that leads to our larger power plant. I'll notify the guards immediately. Okay, don't know why I'd want that, but let's quickly save it in case the game breaks. Right, so we want to go to that little area we tried going before. was just down here? Yeah, that room there. This place if it gets like unpolluted, someone needs to just come around and just move all these like cans and just make, make a better layout. It's so confusing to get through. We can now go through. Sorry, wait, aren't you the kid that Cypress was talking about? Go right ahead. Thank you. Big tunnel leads to the power plant. Ooh, what's this? A strange stone. This must be what Professor Oak was talking about. I should go back to Saffron City and still be still there. Okay, well he's not there, he's gone to Cerulean, but let's warp drive to Saffron. And then we'll go see if uh Okay, uh, Professor Oak is gonna want to see that. You can find him in Cerulean City. So the guards moved out the way to Cerulean City, or do we still need to find a way to get to Cerulean? So maybe we need to find the Team Rocket member still, but I don't know where he could be. That Pokeball wasn't there before. Let's go and get that. Uh, please step back. It's an official crime scene. There's a Pokeball right there. I want to get it. Wait, I can get that. Hey. At the way, chumps. Got a Moonstone, eh? Hey? Not bad. And what are these scientists saying? The data. My omanomana is readings of the charts. Okay. Can't believe the Saffron City. Please let me research this. Uh, I don't know where we're supposed to go to next. So I'm going to save it and see if we can just do this. And the music just crashed a little bit, so that's not a good sign. Okay. Well, sometimes like, I've had this with emulators before, I've just reset the ROM, the, uh, the sound stops, I've seen this guys in a second. Right, there we go, the, uh, the sound has stopped, let's go into the Pokemon Center, and Professor Oak is not here, along with other people. And now the sound has stopped around here. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way yet, or not, but... Uh, Professor Oak might be at Bill's house, maybe. Let's go check that out. Maybe, like, Professor Oak isn't actually in this part of the demo, I'm assuming. Oh, wow. Looks different, though. Refer Village. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be here right now, but... Man, this place looks cool. Got a cave as well. Can't go in the cave. Alrighty, then. Do 
just explore at this point, can't talk to you. So I'm assuming we're not supposed to be at this area right now. But I mean, it's still fun to kind of explore. Okay, it's still not it. Maybe this is as far, the, um, as, far as the game goes, potentially. This is an alpha, remember. There's other cities, we got... Let's go to Pallet Town. Oh! I will crush you. Level 5 unknown, alright. Calm down, mate. Oh wow, you got characters here. Which you can't speak to. It's got Zabdos and a Mew and Articuno Moltres just chilling. Oh, you can battle them? Ah! Run away! <laughs> Not only balls, but. Oh, that was setting you. Oh, I gotta escape! No! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, it's fine. Right, so now that Pokemon are dead, let's see how this system works. Talk to you. Wait. Healthy and living, what? Oh, maybe they didn't die. Maybe something in a battle then? So, Professor it definitely isn't Cerulean City. Game keeps glitching with the sound, but. Uh, Pewter City, we've got around here. Just quiet. Too quiet. I want to explore the new towns. Uh, wait, Cinnabar Island. What's on here? Nothing, okay. Other cities. Uh, Gardenia City? Gardenia Town, even? Actually looking really cool. The signs don't work, but there's our rival. Can't talk to. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, watch where you're going. I haven't seen you around here before. My name is Gary, I'm the son of Mr. Sylph. My family's technology can be seen all over Canton and beyond. Now that you know who I am, who are you? Hmm, what's that? Never heard of you. I can see from your Pokemon that you're a trainer. I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Duel me, and all is forgiven. Laughter is showtime. Okay, so we're not supposed to battle you. Maybe this is like in the Alpha because level 16, but I honestly have no idea how you get to this part of town, but... Uh, I assume once you... Wait, now Pokemon are dead. Okay, uh... Level 5 Rattata. No, I don't want a level 5 Rattata. Does this bring him back to life? Uh... This Pipe Restore. No. Good to know. Right, our city is... Oh my god, I got this one. Okay, I don't think City's free work just yet. Okay, Cities 3 aren't done. Cities 2. Lavender Town. Maiden's Peak. So Sabrina should be around. Oh, okay. Just going through the, uh, through there. <laughs> okay. Not done. It's kind of fun to explore though, a little bit. Silvertown. Uh, Leaf Village? Nope. So it's just probably town or cities one. Or just the first few cities. So how do we even get here? This is from Route C. Okay, so I'm assuming we want to go through somewhere to get to Route C. Right, what's down... wait. Yeah, what's down this way? Can't get that way out cut, so... This is Route A. How does one get to Route B? If we can, that is. a dead end. Right, what if I do this? If I go other cities, I just need to find a way not to get into a fight with people. Town map will be lovely. If we go that way, we trigger his event and we fight him. Right, 
last time we went for Route C. Then maybe we can find out where to go. We gotta fight that guy though, damn it. Alright, give me a second. Alrighty, so what I've done is I just like input a little rare candy, so oh my god, level 37, you were level 16 last time. Okay, that ain't good. Right, uh, if we just go for X special. Okay, same thing for you. Alright, match up just. Okay, we're good, we're good. Whew, wow, we lost. Just. I am speechless. How to hand it to you, Voltsy? There's something about you that reminds me of myself. My team and I know where we are bested. Lavatar and I will train harder. I'm sure, you'll be seeing us again. Till next time. Wait, did he drop something? What did he drop? Order ticket. Wait, is this a. I can do this a laptop in Salomon City. Hmm. Well, he's the son of Mr. Sylph. Said it himself. We get tons of these. Just give him an IOU. Alright, so this is Route B. This is the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Wait, I can't go back this way. Oh, okay, so. Clearly I missed something then. I don't think you should go to uh, Cerulean City though. I mean, that's in this game. So let's go back this way. Oh, okay, I've got a bite. It's fine. Whew. I need to heal up actually. That would be a good idea. And what a pulse. Okay. So I wonder where you, where you have to come from. Because that's the way out. So. This way, like, if you guys are playing legit, you can find out where to go. Because. Got the thing. I had to show me Professor where the, uh. Well, we got the stone. And tell us to go to Cerulean, but I have no idea. Oh yeah, if you guys want to see what shiny water tool looks like, it looks pretty cool. I'm probably going to get a blast light by the end of this, uh, so that's pretty cool. Alright, he's got a cave here, which we can't go in. And it's a dead end, but we can beat this Flareon. So, Sabley City. Okay, got another city, which... This wasn't... Oh, you get trapped in here. Okay. Well, warp drive. Sabley City. Oh, Sabley City was on it here. Okay, there you go. Oh, that saved the day a little bit. This warp drive. So good. Can't talk to you, so not going this way. Route 3. Okay, can't get to Pewter City. So then you've got Mount Moon this way. So to get here, you get to go through Mount Moon. But how did you get to Mount Moon without getting to Cerulean City? There's got to be like another place. Because otherwise... I don't know. If I don't find out where to go, let me know where to go, because that warp drive just ruined everything. <laughs> It's all fine though, it's all fine. Almost out of Mount Moon. See where it leads. Unless. Maybe we could have gone south? I guess? South of Saffron, then just take the underground route to Cerulean? But then there's nothing in Cerulean, that's the problem. Alright, still Route 4. Uh, can't go that way, because that leads to Mewtwo's cave. Yeah, so, obviously Cerulean, nothing in here. you got the other town. Yeah, so you can't get past these guys. The only thing I can think of is if you can go down this way, which you can't. Or go east, which you can't. I have no idea where to go. Well, we've done the end of the demo now. We beat our rival and then all that good stuff. I mean, this game, a lot of potential. really like it. It's really awesome. Again, if you guys want to play along, 
Link in the description down below. Make sure you check it out. Yeah, the shiny sprites are really awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.